to this report, the U.S. is about to lose one of its military bases in Djibouti, home to America's largest permanent military installation in Africa that includes 4,000 troops and a fleet of U.S. assassination drones that run bombing missions in regional Muslim countries like Yemen and Somalia as part of Washington's official targeted killing program. The Horn of Africa nation, strategically located in the critical entrance from the Indian Ocean to the Red Sea, lies at the gateway to the busy Suez Canal and provides a port to neighboring Ethiopia. The report further points out that the U.S. Defense Department says Djibouti... The U.S. Defense Department pays Djibouti $63 million a year for the use of the drone base Camp Lemonnier, which is one of the largest drone bases in the world. China came along with a much more generous chunk of change, and this report on counterpunch.org written by Thomas Mountain, he breaks it down pretty well, leading up to the illogical conclusion that we're going to start to hear the chatter threat aganda that Djibouti, they violate human rights and they need regime change and all that yada yada. So James, this is probably a, an important story as you and I, I think, have been kind of talking about Africa and perhaps more importantly, AFRICOM for many, many years here. Exactly right. AFRICOM, of course, wants to get more boots on the ground in Africa and is having a hard time doing so because China is spending the infrastructure money that a lot of these uh, governments are using to their own advantage. And so it's win-win for all of them. For example, the $3 billion railway that, uh, that China has helped construct between Ethiopia and Djibouti. Uh, in order to facilitate the removal of goods from uh, the African continent towards uh, China and uh, out to the ports that they can ship them up to China. So this is, I think, part of the incredibly important part of the 2D chess game that's taking place right now. I think there's a lot of movement that's uh, possible in Africa, specifically with regards to the U.S.-China rivalry, 